The Schluter Curdy Board waterproof building panel combines substrate and waterproofing installation into one. Here's how to install it in a bathtub surround application. The bathtub has already been installed and Curdy Board will be installed directly over the exposed wall framing. Grab bars must be anchored in the structure or solid blocking behind curdy board. The minimum curdy board thickness for installation over wall framing is one half inch for studs spaced at 16 inches on center and three quarter inch for studs spaced at 24 inches on center. Curdy board can be mounted horizontally or vertically on the framing with appropriate screws and corresponding Schluter Curdy Board ZT washers. The selected screws must be of sufficient length to reach a depth of at least 3 quarter inch in wood studs and at least 3 8 inch in metal studs. Abut Curdy Board panels on the framing such that any vertical seams are supported over the center of the studs. Insert the Curdy Board ZT washers and fasten the panels to the studs. Screws may be placed between adjacent panels such that the washers fasten both panel edges. The maximum allowable on-center fastener spacing is 12 inches. If the Schluter Curdy Board SN prefabricated shower niche will be incorporated in the bathtub, please refer to the Curdy Board SN shower niche within Curdy Board assembly video for details and return to this video when that work is complete. Schluter Curdy Board can also be used as a building element to create assemblies such as knee walls. In this demonstration, the knee wall will be assembled using two layers of two inch thick Curdy Board, one layer of one half inch thick Curdy Board, and unmodified thin set mortar. This design provides the familiar width of a framed wall and allows for a flush transition to the tub flange. Set the half inch thick curdy board against the tub and trace around the tub flange. Cut the panel to fit around the tub. Measure and cut sections of the two inch thick curdy board to size. A one quarter inch by three eighths inch square or U-notched trowel is used to apply the mortar. Apply a thin layer of the mortar to the curdy board with the flat side of the trowel to produce solid contact with the surface and then comb additional mortar using the notched side of the trowel solidly embed the sections of curdy board. Repeat this process to laminate the second layer of two inch thick curdy board to the first. Set the cut piece of one half inch thick curdy board against the assembly and mark where the thin set mortar is to be applied. Apply thin set mortar to the knee wall assembly and solidly embed the half inch thick panel. The knee wall is installed using unmodified thin set mortar. 
apply thin set mortar to the subfloor and walls using the same 1 quarter inch by 3 8 inch square notched trowel. Apply Schluter Curdy Fix or other suitable adhesive to the tub flange. Press the knee wall firmly into place. Check the assembly to make sure it is level and plumb. Curdy board is sealed to the bathtub using Schluter Curdy Fix or other suitable sealant in conjunction with Schluter Curdy Band waterproofing strips. After peeling back the protective plastic from the bathtub flange, painter's tape is placed around the bathtub where it meets the wall in order to protect the tub deck during sealant application. When Curdy board is installed above the tub flange, apply Curdy Fix to the tub flange and spread using a small notched trowel. When Curdy board can be installed above the tub deck, for example, when the bathtub does not include a flange, completely fill the quarter inch wide gap between the curdy board and bathtub with curdy fix. Curdy band is bonded to the curdy board using unmodified thin set mortar. The mortar is mixed to a fairly fluid consistency but still able to hold a notch. A 1 quarter inch by 3 16 inch V-notch trowel or the Schluter Curdy trowel, which features a 1 8 inch by 1 8 inch square notch design, is used to apply the mortar. Apply the unmodified thin set mortar to the walls where the Curdy band is to be installed. Apply a thin layer of mortar over the Curdy board with the flat side of the trowel to produce solid contact with the surface and then comb additional mortar using the notched side of the trowel. Embed the curdy band in the thin set mortar and curdy fix using the flat side of the trowel or a drywall finishing knife to ensure full coverage and remove air pockets. Repeat the process at all tub to wall connections. All curdy board joints, corners and fastener penetrations must be sealed with curdy band using unmodified thin set mortar. Apply unmodified thin set mortar over the curdy board joints. Curdy band may be creased prior to installation to help maintain tight corners and make subsequent tile setting as easy as possible. Embed the curdy band into the thin set mortar using the flat side of the trowel or a drywall finishing knife to ensure full coverage and remove air pockets. Waterproof integrity is ensured by using two inch wide overlaps in conjunction with unmodified thin set mortar. Repeat the process at all fastener penetrations using cut sections of curdy band. Schluter Curdy Seal PS is used to seal protrusions through the curdy board at the tub spout and shower head. Schluter Curdy Seal MV is used at the mixing valve. Apply unmodified thin set mortar to the walls at the penetrations and solidly embed the Curdy Seals. As an alternative, Curdy Fix or other suitable sealant can be used at the tub spout and shower head. Install the Schluter Curdy Carrick preformed outside corner at the knee wall to back wall transition. Apply unmodified thin set mortar to the area where the corner is to be installed.
solidly embed the Curdy Carrick into the mortar. The final step in waterproofing is to use Curdy Band to seal the joints and panel edges on top of the knee wall assembly. Apply unmodified thin set mortar to the joints and solidly embed the Curdy Band. In this application, notches were cut in the Curdy Band to allow for continuous installation from the top of the knee wall down the face of the assembly. A second piece of curdy band was installed, overlapping the first by two inches. Once all joints, corners and protrusions are sealed, the assembly is waterproof, vapor tight and ready for tile. If tile is to be set on floors adjacent to the bathtub surround, consider the use of the Schluter DITRA uncoupling and waterproofing membrane, which can be sealed to the Schluter shower system to provide comprehensive waterproofing in the bathroom. More information is available in the DITRA Connection to Bathtub Surrounds video. Schluter profiles can be used to replace sealant joints and finish tile edges in bathtub surround applications. In this application, we've used the Schluter Dialex BWA perimeter joint profile along the tub deck. Dialex EKE profile at inside wall corners and the Rondeck profile to finish the tile at outside corners. Profiles are installed in conjunction with the tile in accordance with Schluter Systems installation instructions. Please visit schluter.com for product and installation information.